Hello and welcome to JavaScript in less than three, where I describe JavaScript concepts in under three minutes. Today we're going to talk about template literals. Now, yesterday we looked at concatenation and I'm going to use some of the examples that we used yesterday to show you why template literals are so good. They are so good. Okay, we've got hello, yeah, greeting equals hello and first name equals dear viewer. Yeah, not technically a first name, doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to add one here, which is Berlin. And as you can see, I've used three different ways of defining a string here. The first is the double quote, the second is the single quote, and the third is the back ticks. Now the back ticks are what we call a template literal or a template string. Basically, we can use them just like we use normal strings, like we use the double quotes or the single quotes. The difference is that there is a special syntax within a template literal or a template string that allow us to use JavaScript within it, which is so cool. So uh, the old school way that we had that we showed that I showed you in the last video is let full greeting equal greeting dot uh, greeting plus first name. And then we re realized, oh, that means there's no space in it. Yeah, because it just puts them straight together. And you see, we have to add full stops here. We have to add a space here to make sure that it doesn't break up. We have to add the, the exclamation mark as a separate string. It's a pain in the hoone. So let's do it the other way. Um, let full temp greeting equal, here we go, using the dollar sign and curly brackets, we can insert JavaScript inside a template string. So we can say greeting, first name, great to see you in city, exclamation mark. Now you tell me which of these two is easier to read. I should scroll down. Here we go. Uh, let me, you tell me which of these two is easier to read, right? For me, every day of the week, it's going to be this one, right? The other great thing about template literals is that you can add line breaks. So here in the old one, we had to do this. Actually, I had an error in the last video and I purposefully didn't fix it here because I wanted to show you exactly why this is such a benefit. You can see we had to add this new line manually using an escaped character, right? We can do this in template literal, let's go temp temp <laughs> equals, and we're just going to go agree. Oh, got to use those back ticks. Don't forget the back ticks, my friends. Greeting, first name, comma, next line. It's lovely to see you. Yeah, we don't have to do any escaped characters or anything like that. We just, we just type it. We just type it how we normally type it and everything's great and fine and we don't have to worry about it and we don't have to make mistakes like this where JavaScript is going to throw an error because I forgot to do a plus sign. Why would you not use template literals? They are amazing. So get in the habit of using them and all will be amazing for you.